Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Rob. We're out here ripping. Um, I got the speaker on, so I gotta make this intro quick. Uh, yeah, we're out here. It's a nice day. A little, little, little toasty boy. Um, nothing really in mind that I'm trying to do. Other than maybe just go to a parking garage and take a picture. Just to throw it on the story. That's about it. <laughs> Hit me with that salute. I don't understand why people go for valet. Like, how fucking hard is it to just park your car? I could have 30 sheets in the bank and I wouldn't do fucking valet. I don't need people playing with my seat settings, touching the shit inside my car, looking for stuff, picking up quarters. I like to have control of my stuff. <laughs> well, speed up, you can take a credit card number. <laughs> If anybody can read that out, there's a free number for you. Please don't do that, because I'm not being held responsible. But I'll zoom that in. I'm just kidding. That's wrong. Man, those bumps are nasty. Seepage! What the heck is that? There's two. Hey, Virginia Rocks! That kid was so confused. Oh. That's kind of sick. I don't really know what this is. I'm gonna say it's a B or Z or something like that. Oh, they got a couple of them. Mission, visionary. Yeah, it's like a B or Z gang. That's kind of cool. I want to see what these two bikes are. That's a Harley. And that's an old, like, YZF or something like that. I wonder what that is. The Harley's kind of nice. I don't know. Ain't my taste for this. Yeah, my, that thing's been... Thing's been abused. Oh, there's another bike right here. Wonder what that is. <laughs> I don't know, that's kinda cool. I think that's a 636 maybe. That's probably what it is, and a nice GT here. That's sick. You know what's really cool? That Honda Sonic that I just passed? <laughs> or Honda Sonic. Thinking about Honda fits too much. Um, Chevy Sonic. God, I'm an idiot. I'm trying. I thought people always give the fucking surfer a wave or whatever <laughs> when it comes to cars. One glove. Can't get my phone in my pocket. <laughs> this dock is goofy because it's just a straight floater. There it is, my worm. Look at that. That thing is crusty. <laughs> it dried in like a straight L. <laughs> How sad. Best spot to fish is right along this stuff right here. Or at least in my opinion, like those bubbles. Mega bass, like straight along here. Got to come back next week. It's very, very active in here. Wow, look at my reflection.
I've never bounced this bike off the rev limiter. And to be honest, I'm quite afraid to do it just because I feel like it's going to fall apart if I did. It's going to bounce like three times and then the engine case is going to split in half. If you want my honest opinion on like, so I've been riding for about a... I don't know, I've had this bike for a year. I probably like had six months worth of seat time, I guess. Like of actually being on, on the road, not just like the bike uh, sitting there. Maybe I'll go nine months and a couple, like two of those were just like riding around the neighborhoods and stuff. Um, yikes. Uh, but if you want to start, if you need, basically if you need a highway capable bike, Go for a 650. So the SV650, FZ07, I think Kawasaki's got the Z650, something in that range there. 650 is nice. You're going to have the power that you, like, you can have a little fun with there, but you're not going to, like, kill yourself on, like, an inline 4 600 or, like, a 1000. I wouldn't recommend going for a 300 just because 300 is kind of a waste. Uh, people outgrow them. They want the 600. So I'd say start with the six 650s. Because you get the beans. And then it's not too heavy. To where, you know, it's going to fall over. You can't handle it. Um, but like, yeah, don't go for a 300. And I wouldn't say... I'd honestly say after you've ridden the 650 for a little bit. Oh, I should have went the other way. Fuck me. Then go to... Um, then go to whatever uh, a 900 or um, like a, a Grom I'd say don't get a Grom as a first bike just because it's I feel like it's a, too easy of a thing to learn on just because it weighs so little um Yeah, the Grom weighs too little to where I don't feel like it's effective enough in teaching you the fundamentals. Honestly, I was thinking about going back to the Yamaha TW200 that we used in class just because those things are super fun and lightweight. If they weren't like, you know, ancient technology, um, I definitely would have gone with it. Like, take a vibe, you know, a drum brake. Uh, got the drum brake and uh, a carb, which the carb I don't care too much about. It's a drum brake that uh, it's not a disc brake and you can't do like handbrake setup on it and stuff like that. I guess you could swap it, but that's that's a lot of work. It's definitely not worth doing for for that. So I definitely say I go 650. Stay in that range and kind of learn on that because that's what I've done with this. You can hit your low speed fundamental maneuvers with this. You gotta give it like, you gotta give it to it. You can't, like, uh, kinda be afraid. You gotta, like, lean it over and let it, let it do its thing. Fuck. You can't be afraid with it when you're doing those fundamental stuff. If you're gonna drop it, you can drop it, get frame sliders, um, or buy a beat-up bike like this and don't be afraid to drop it and use that to learn. Um, I, my personal opinion, I think a thousand cc's is completely unnecessary for just main street riding. Like, there's absolutely zero point in getting one. They're heavy. Uh, they're fucking powerful as shit. Uh, way too powerful for the road. Bunch of squids. <laughs> there, there goes shitting on 250s. Um... Let's catch up to those guys. Fucking give me the light. Oh, they're going to take the highway? Dummies. Oh, maybe not. Give me that light. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, but 1,000cc, my opinion, 
absolute waste for the street. Like, unless, like, you have a ridiculous deal on it, there's no point in getting one. <laughs> Even then, I, I would use that money and buy something fun, like, oh! Use, buy something fun, like a dirt bike or a Grom or something like that, just because... Like, even on this bike, I get up to the speed limit if you choose to do that all the time. I get up to the speed limit around, like, you can, if you give it to it in the power band, you'll get there in second gear. This thing is six gears. Um, you're not using, like, any of the bike's power or, or, or potential of the engine. Would this be a great track bike? 100% yes. A lot of people use them, in fact. Third gear made it to 50, 5 over, not a big deal, but it just doesn't get used. Yeah, so a thousand is like useless in my opinion, unless you like need it for a show bike or whatever, like because of the looks, but like it's, it's not worth it. You honestly could ride a 1000 probably in first gear everywhere you go. Like, you wouldn't have to leave first, maybe second, but I doubt it. I don't know how the gearing is on those. I don't know if my stick was still on. Beep, beep, beep. But yeah, that's my opinion on that. I think Groms aren't something you should start on just because they're too light and too easy to use. But... Or even, like, Supermotos, 400s. Those aren't bad. That's my opinion on bikes. If I, I think I've mentioned this before, and, or maybe I never included it in a video, but that would be my opinion. It's like, oh, this turn lane didn't work fast enough. Can I go without putting my feet down? Yes! Oh my god. That's like a, I play that game with myself, keep myself entertained. <laughs> Just to see how long I can how long, I can, how long I can go without putting my feet down at like turns or lights and stuff so I can command control of my vehicle <coughs> yeah enough of that People got a bump in. This place is packed. Illegally parked vehicles will be towed at the expense of. <laughs> oh, is that that Magna? That might be. Biker squad, man. <laughs> this is where all the old people come. <laughs> Can I drive through here still? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Don't even think about it, Buster. Ugh, spread out the legs, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Banana bread at work? Hell yeah. You know when your eye itches? Ow! Oh, fuck! 
You know when something hits you in the eye because you weren't wearing your visor? Hell no, dog. Having to pay bills like insurance and registration? Hell no, dog. Hell no. Hell no. Having to wait for people backing in a fucking big ass trailer? Hell no. Look at that. Why would you do that? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> Hit him with it. Hit him with a couch surf on the fucking bike. Oh, what do you ride? Suzuki SV650? Oh, it's a recliner!